it won't be late again. No, I'm gonna do it again. It won't be late again. It's not a magic thing. Do you struggle with being late on your forehand or always feel rushed and you feel like you don't have enough time or the ball gets to you too fast? Then in today's video, we'll be discussing how we can train in a more effective manner to improve our timing and also not be late on our forehand and start crushing those forehands. So you must have heard a lot of times before, hey, get your uh, racket back early or get to the ball faster. But although those things are not wrong, but we still need to understand how we are moving in space and how we are getting ready to better um, prepare ourselves to hit our forehand. So what I want you to do is, as you get ready to uh, receive the ball, uh, we're not actually gonna hit the ball in this drill. So what I want you to do is, as you're getting ready, in this position here, you're gonna say the word ready out loud. Get ready in this position before the ball comes to your contact. So if this is my contact here, by the time the ball is in my contact area, I should be in this position and I'm ready to hit it. Every ready. single time I say ready, and every time you're doing this ready. with each repetitions, you'll realize how early or how, how late you were getting ready for the ball, right? So if you are getting late by the time the ball is here and then the racket starts to go back, you'll know when you say ready, hey, the ball already went past me, so I was late. So the next repetitions, try to get it into this position a lot earlier. And the best way to see that is, is also videoing yourself. So when you say it out loud, hey, I'm ready, you can see where the racket actually is and if you are ready or not. So uh, go out with a friend, they, they can shoot you or you know, get a tripod and a phone and then just shoot yourself and see how well are you doing and how early you're getting ready to uh, hit that ball. Now on to tip number two, and in this one we'll be focusing more on the timing of our swing and how to optimize our backswing part of the forehand uh, so we are not late. I'm just gonna refer uh, time in units instead of seconds just so it's easier to understand. So for example, in my regular rally ball, it takes me one, two, three units to get my backswing done. So if the ball is coming at a certain speed, I have a regular rally ball, it takes one, two, three units for me to finish my backswing. But then you have to understand if the ball is coming a bit faster, then one, two, and three is not going to work anymore. We cannot do our backswing the same way because now the ball is coming a lot faster. So we have to adjust for the time that we are losing because the ball is coming faster by may maybe doing one, two, and then swinging our forehand when on a receiving a fastball. So it's one, two, swing, as opposed to one, two, three, and then finishing your stroke. So same thing applies to say if the ball is coming low now. So how do we adjust our backswing to uh, create time for ourselves is by as I'm bringing my racket to the side, I tend to go down with it. And now from here, I can execute my low ball forehand instead of doing my full backswing again and then going down and then up and it takes a lot longer. And I see a lot of the times we'll just, it's, the backswing is actually like this high and the ball is this low. And by the time the racket actually gets to the ball, it's on a wrong angle and you're late on the ball, and you know, end up hitting it in the net. Same thing applies if we're doing a high ball forehand. So if the ball is coming high to around shoulder height, we cannot drop our backswing down to here because now it's gonna take even longer to come to the contact point. So we're gonna be late again. So on a higher backswing, we bring the racket up. If the ball is here, we slightly drop the racket below the ball and then I can hit and execute my forehand from there. So whenever we are short on time by whatever our opponent is doing, we have to adjust our backswing to create time for ourselves. Let us know in the comments below how it went for you and if you uh, like these uh, tips and if you would like to watch a video on uh, the critical role that your palm have in your forehand and how to really understand what the forehand motion looks like, then you can watch this video next, and I will see you soon. Thank you, bye.